Let's look at the relationship between the macroscopic properties for a sample of gas. The pressure, the volume, the temperature, the number of moles of gas. We can combine them all into one neat expression, the ideal gas law, PV equals nRT. When we do that, P will take the pressure in atmospheres, we'll take V, the volume in liters, and we know the product of the pressure and the volume is a constant for a fixed number of moles and a fixed temperature. We're going to take N, the number of moles of gas, and we're going to realize, well, if the number of moles increases, I'm either going to get a bigger volume, the volume will increase, or a higher pressure, or some combination of both. More gas gives me bigger volume or higher pressure. I can take R, the ideal gas constant, in one of two units. In liter atmospheres, the value is 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin, or I can take it in joules, 8.314 joules per Kelvin mole. Now, the temperature I'll always have in Kelvin, the absolute temperature scale, and I know if I increase the temperature, I'll expect an increase in volume or an increase in pressure or a combination of both. We can talk about the molar volume of a gas at standard temperature and pressure. Standard temperature and pressure, one atmosphere pressure, 273 Kelvin, and the molar volume, one mole of gas, will occupy 22.4 liters under those conditions. This is the ideal gas law, the macroscopic properties of a gas in one neat equation.